Cody Bellinger joining us live right now on the rundown. Cody, congratulations on the award. What was your favorite part of the last week? Um, probably the amount of games that we won, to be <laughs> honest. We're, we're rolling as a team right now. We're feeling pretty good. Cody, when you come on to spring training, did you feel really good the last week at the Cactus League? Did you feel like you were, you were in the right place, a good place to start the season? Uh, yeah, I felt all right. Um, I think the three games that we have at Angel Stadium and Dodger Stadium kind of help you get back into the rhythm of things and getting back to a big league ballpark and uh, getting your routine down. And uh, Yeah, I was feeling good, though, and I just wanted to carry that into, into the season. You've had some big knocks against left-handed pitching. Last year, towards the end of the year, you started getting platooned against lefties. How much was that on your mind in the offseason then to start this season that you're going to be playing every single day? Yeah, um, obviously no one ever wants to do that. And, you know, you kind of take that and uh, go into the offseason. Obviously, we have two new hitting coaches with Rob and, and Brownie, and uh, they've done a great job with me and a lot of the guys on our team. And uh, I just wanted to learn from them, and I was went in open-minded and uh, just watched video and what I was good at and what I wasn't good at and uh, just learning and um, just trying to be the best player that you can be. You know, you guys have to feel really fortunate, too. You're off to a great start without your ace, Clayton Kershaw. So you would assume, assume things will be even better when you get Kershaw back. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it just shows the depth that we have. But obviously when we have – 22 on the mound then we're feeling pretty confident on defense and um, you know he's one of the leaders in the clubhouse too even when he's not uh, playing so it's gonna be nice to get him back out there and and healthy and pitching again. Cody are you doing anything differently technology wise video wise I know this team's always at the forefront of that. Um, no I don't think so I think I'm doing the same thing that I was doing uh, I mean we have video like every other team you watch video on the pitcher you watch video on yourself and you're not feeling good. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm doing too much on the advanced technology side of it. What about swing wise? So watch what Harold Reynolds did for us last night, breaking down some changes and then we'll get your reaction. So look at here where the bat is at. All right. That's his rookie year. That's last year. That's this year. He's gone back to being himself. And what does that do? Look at this big hole right here. It creates when he started with his bat here. Look at this is when he started flat. It took away this big circle here and allowed his arc to be better. There he is with the flat. Here he is up. All right. Now look at the difference. This tilt is right here. It's barely off his head. That's a long way to go. Right over here, he's got the elbow down a little bit better, and look at the space between his head. That's a shorter approach to the ball, and it's going to allow him to be more consistent. And this year, he's off flying with more consistency. Okay, Cody, how did he do with his breakdown last night? Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty close. Um, the first thing I did this offseason with Rob and Brownie was look at 17, 2017 video, and uh, why I was having success and then why I wasn't having success and just kind of learning from there, doing some drills, whether I liked it or not, um, and seeing, you know, what worked for me and what didn't work for me. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, getting back to what I was comfortable and when I was feeling good and just trying to make it my own swing again. Hey, Cody, you often hear golfers talking about changing their swing and not overthinking it. Do you feel from a hitter standpoint that when you're going good, you're not thinking about a whole lot like where your hands and the way you're holding your bat. You're just seeing the ball and hitting it. You're putting good swings on it. Yeah, I think that's the key. I think the key to hitting is finding something in the box that you can do without thinking about, um, you know, too much and trying to be consistent with it. And uh, that's what I'm trying to learn, and that's what I'm still trying to do and figure out and um, just trying to find a consistent thing that I can do every single day to – you know, barrel up balls. Hey, Cody, I heard a rumor. I just want to make sure it's true with you. Senior year of high school, how many home runs did you hit? I had one home run. How? How? Did they not pitch to you? Uh, I was a, no, I was a, I was, I don't know. I could hit, I could hit homers in batting practice. I was 160 pounds <laughs> soaking wet. So, um, you know, now I'm like 199 on a good day. So we're getting there. Yeah, well, and you've got seven home runs in the first couple of weeks of the season. So it's working for you. <laughs> just keep doing what you're doing, Cody. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Appreciate the time. Congratulations, W.B. Mason, National League Player of the Week, and good luck tonight, okay? All right. Thank you, guys.